Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you a really cool website called SilverOS.com. What it is is a Silverlight-based operating system that runs entirely off of Microsoft Silverlight. I was actually very surprised at this, how good it ran when I first started this up. And what you're going to want to do is going to want to go to www.SilverOS.com. And by the way, this is laid out. You can tell the developers over at their website put a lot of time and effort into making this whole thing but sadly they are not doing it anymore but they still left us to use it for ourselves so the whole operating system depends on itself like you can actually save stuff in your my documents folder and you can read stuff from your actual computer hard drive right here you see you have your original analog clock your fully functional uh, calendar. You can type whatever you want here, just for reminders. Still the original system tray down here. You can see it matches mine right here. Still the same date and everything. And it actually comes preloaded with a lot of cool applications. Like the internet browser is actually very amazing. It's very fast. Um, let's try out YouTube, see how fast that loads. Forgot W press enter now the internet browser in here actually depends off the actual browser you're in so if you're using internet explorer for this i would not recommend using silva os in it now you can see everything right here is actually really looking really nice in here you can tell it's a very functional web browser because they have all these buttons right here and they have a uh, optional search bar right here you can choose where you want to search it's out of Google uh, Bing Yahoo and whatnot so YouTube viewer all that is basically is just you just search for videos on youtube.com it's really the same thing as just going to youtube.com but now virtual earth it's not really that much like Google Earth, I would say. All this is powered by Bing Maps. You can choose right here from Road View or Aerial View. It's actually pretty cool for a, again, it's overlaid based application. You just zoom in here. It's actually very, very clear. Surprisingly for something this small. The media player is actually really cool too. It's basically just like Windows Media Player. You can choose right here what music you would like to choose from yours. And if you have all MP3 files, you can just choose whatever um, file type down here you would like to play. And all this stuff, you can uh, it will just pop up with a fully controllable taskbar right here. Hopefully I can get this whole tutorial done in one part, but I highly, highly doubt it from all the stuff that is on here. Now, the rich notepad, you can see that it looks exactly like Microsoft Office 2007. It has a lot of fully functional controls. You can change your font from the pre-installed ones on the SilverOS.com from the actual website. You change your font size. You can underline it, bold it, italic. You can cut it. You can hyperlink stuff to it. And you can also save stuff, which is a really cool feature of this. You can actually save it. Um, you can give it a file name. You can save it in your My Documents folder. Now I just saved that. I named it test.rte, which is rich text notepad if I open this up it'll open that back up it's actually really cool notepad is kind of a downgraded version of the rich notepad there's not really that much features in it you can hide these tools up here by pressing this button you can, same exact thing as the rich notepad RSS reader you just subscribe to websites that have an RSS feed which is a constantly updated website like a blog or so